Hey, you okay? You need any help? No, just my back. L4, L5 disc? Yeah, among other things. You a doctor? Oh, no, just I got my own issues. Yeah, you here getting treatment? No, I work here. Are you looking for the clinic? No, just browsing some education benefits. Uh, Those chairs in there are killing me. Yeah, so back to school, huh? Yeah, I guess. Maybe, I don't know. It's, it's hard to say, you know. It's kind of a lot to... Yeah, it's you know. overwhelming. I wouldn't say that. It's just, you know, a lot to sort through, you know? Yeah, I do know. Oh, yeah? Yeah, helping vets sort through things is what I do here. You got a second? Maybe head downstairs, grab a cup of coffee? You buying? <laughs> Absolutely. I'll lead the way. Come on. I mean, the coffee's free, but... Yeah. Just so you know. <laughs> so you didn't really even grow up around here? No, we moved here in the middle of my senior year of high school. And then I decided to become a Marine like my grandfather. I can relate with that. So now you're back home. I mean, I guess, you know, it doesn't really feel like home. Because you weren't here very long before you enlisted? Yeah, you know, and, you know, all my buddies are, you know, not around anymore. I mean, either, you know, still fighting the good fight or scattered about, you know, so I'm just kind of on my own. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Which isn't like, I mean, I'm okay on my own, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. A lot of people got it way worse than me, you know. Like I was always told, you know, I mean, uh, adapt and overcome, you know, accomplish the mission no matter what. Mm. Right. You know, and I, I'm just trying to... Yeah, trying to figure out next steps. And with my back yelling at me 24-7, feels a lot harder. Well, look, the whole reason I wanted us to grab coffee was because what I do here at the VA is connect with other veterans to help them figure out what's next. So, what, you got like a magic wand or a secret formula or something? <laughs> Well, we have a formula, but it's no secret. We're doing something now at the VA we call whole health. It looks at the whole veteran, not just their, their health problems. We're not just giving checkups and handing out meds. We're looking at things more holistically, you know, things that have to do with well-being and purpose. I'm listening. So I'm what you call a whole health partner. I get together with vets, help them put the pieces together, and connect them with their goals in ways that they haven't thought of. We call it Personal health planning, or PHP. Sounds a whole lot like therapy, man. <laughs> no, not really. I mean, we've got all sorts of therapists here if you need them, but I'm here as part of a team to get you up to speed on whole health, to find out what matters most to you and connect you with tools and resources that you need to accomplish your goals. Now, let me ask you a question. What do you want your health for? What, what do I want my what? <laughs> What do you want your health and your well-being for? Think of yourself as fully well and healthy. What do you want to do with your health? That's a weird question. Right? It's a whole new way of thinking about it. And listen, I came home after two tours and I had issues. I had health things and personal things and I just felt lost. You know? And none of the treatment that I was getting was fixing anything. I mean, like with your back, right? And you can take the pain meds and maybe they help, but a couple hours later, the pain returns and you've still got back problems. This whole health approach turned everything around for me. I figured out what matters most to me in my life and started from there. I started working on the whole picture, not just the symptoms. They hooked me up with some groups to identify my goals and not just health goals, but life goals too. Connected me with a whole health coach, got me started with some acupuncture and some yoga and a clinical team that really listened to me. And I tell you what, before long, everything was looking a lot better. I got so pumped about it that I decided one thing I wanna do is to help other people the way the VA helped me. So that's why I decided to become a whole health partner. You sound like you're the whole health PR man. <laughs> I mean, it worked for me. What can I say? Okay, look, I believe that it did good things for you. You know, I appreciate you sitting with me and the coffee, you know, but all that stuff you're talking about, I mean, that, that, that sounds like a full-time job. You know, I, I don't think I have time for all of that. Listen, we can make it work on any schedule you need. Here's my card, okay? And here is a schedule of when some of those groups meet. 
Like I, I don't need any self-help, hi, I'm Jason, I'm a veteran kind of stuff. Yeah, that's, it's not that kind of group though. It's just some vets in the same boat we're in. And we get a chance to think about what we want in our lives and start making some goals. And listen, man, if the whole group thing doesn't work for you, that's my number right there on that card. We can meet one-on-one -on -one and accomplish pretty much the same thing. I will tell you though, a lot of this stuff is easier when you realize that lots of vets are facing the same questions that we are. It makes it seem less like a mountain you're trudging up alone and more like you're, I don't know, walking up a hill with some friends. Either way, the most important thing is finding out what matters most to you. I have a mission, a purpose. Exactly. Listen, I actually teach a class called Taking Charge of My Life and Health. So check it out. If you like it, great. If not, no big deal. But it just might help. Okay. That wraps us up for today. Thanks very much, everyone. We'll see you next time. Thank you. That was Thank awesome. You. Thanks. Take care, man. All right. Jason, so I heard what you were talking about during the meeting. So you're looking to Tai Chi. It's really helped me. Tai Chi, really? Yeah, so Tai Chi is a foundation of martial arts. Really clears my head. It makes me feel good. This is going to make me cut up like you, man. You never know. But you know what? I'll see you later. You should try it. <laughs> hey, Jason. So how was taking charge of my life and help group for you? It was good. You know, it was like you said, you know, I mean, it was good to be around other veterans who, you know, kind of in the same position as me, you know, trying to figure it all out. Yeah. No, it never hurts to find out you're not alone. Did any of the exercises work for you? I mean, the personal health inventory was interesting. You know, I never thought of health in that way. In what way? I guess it's like what you said. I mean, you walk around and you feel like you know what matters to you, but when you put it into words, it just kind of feels, you know, more real. Yeah like knowing what you want your health for. Yeah, you know, I just, I, I wanna be active. You know, I, I, yeah. I, wanna, I wanna do things, I wanna get out. So what did you think of the circle of health? Was that a useful way to think about some of this stuff? It was okay. You know, I mean, it was, it's good to have some plans and, and goals and, and things like that to take care of myself. But? But at the end of the day, my back still hurts. Yeah. You know, some days I can barely stand up. You know, how am I supposed to do all the things I want to do? Well, maybe you're not. I mean, at least not by yourself and maybe not right now. I mean, did you ever play sports? Football. Yeah, I was linebacker. All right. And were you out there all by yourself? I mean, no, right? There was a team. Yeah, of course. Yeah, and a coach. Coaches, right? And this is the same thing. We're going to build a team around you to support your personal health plan. It's the playbook for everything that you want to do. The coach and the rest of your team will help you get exactly where you want to go. Well, so what's next? Uh, for starters, let's get you set up with a whole health coach. All right, sounds great. So we went over your PHP and how we might help equip you to reach your goals. So now our next step is to set things up so that you can meet them. I have a question for you. Let's say that you did not have to work today. You did not have to meet with your whole health coach. It was just you. Where would you like to be? Really picture it. What would it look like? I, uh, you know, I'd say trail number four in the national forest. You know, I'd, I'd have my, my dog with me <laughs> and my backpack and, you know, I mean, enjoying the, the beautiful scenery. Jason, what is it? Well, it's, you know, I mean, so what? You know, I, I might as well have, you know, super duper eagle wings flying over the city, you know? I mean, you, you ever try to hike with a backpack while your spine is on fire? I know that it can be very frustrating to hear about these goals that you probably see them as unreachable. But let me ask you this, what do you like about hiking? Is it the exercise? Is it the scenery? The quiet. You know, I mean, I mean the scenery is, is great, you know, and, and, and climbing up, getting my heart pumping, you know, is, is, is amazing, you know, but, you know, everything smells so fresh and good, you know, I mean, it just, it just feels real. It sounds like you really immerse yourself. Yeah, it's, it's healing, you know. 
Is there a place close by where you can get those same feelings? Well, uh, hmm, uh, you know, I mean, I guess there's this, uh, there's this park near my apartment, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, it's, it's got, got, got some trails, you know, it's not really hiking and you don't need a backpack, so no camping, but, uh, you know, I don't know, I guess that's better than nothing, right? So better than sitting in your own apartment? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Look at the information on this brochure. There are several classes that you could take, some of them here at the VA, and you could also take some of these classes online as well. Is there anything that you're liking? Tai Chi. Yes, there are several classes on Tai Chi. Yeah, I mean, I, a friend of mine in, in Chris's group was, was doing some Tai Chi, you know, and he, sa he said it really helped him with his pain. Great. Well, let's get you on that class and look at other courses as well that you would like to take. And you are meeting with your primary care team next week, right? Yes, ma'am. All right. Let's talk a little bit more about your personal health plan and make sure you feel comfortable talking about it with your primary care team. So next time you come, let's check in on the progress towards your goals. Sounds good. Thank you. All right, you're all checked in, Jason. Thanks. Man, you guys have those things everywhere. Ah, whole health. Learn it, live it. I guess you've heard of it before. Oh, yeah. From my whole health partner and my whole health coach. I guess you've also done the personal health inventory, too? Yeah, I started my own personal health plan. I didn't bring it with me. Is that a problem? No, not really. The team can check the notes in the system there. Whole health's really about you being the driving force behind your own care. Jason? I'm going to ask you a few questions and take your vitals before the provider comes in today, okay? And Mike noted that you've already done the personal health inventory and started a personal health plan? Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I, I, I did my PHI. I met with my whole health partner, Chris, and my whole health coach. And, you know, I, I just kind of started on my goals. So can you tell me what matters most to you in your life and maybe a bit about your goals? Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I, I just kind of like to be able to do things, you know, outdoors, hiking, camping. Basically, I'm pretty devoted to the idea of having an active future. Sounds great. So in terms of health, what would you say is really getting in the way of those hopes? How can we help you be more active? My back's been, you know, kind of a problematic issue for a couple of years, and I, I feel like it's really starting to get worse. Forget about the hiking, camping. I mean, I, I, I can't even you know, sit still for more than a few minutes without being uncomfortable and hurting. I'd like to do things like go back to school for engineering, you know, but I, I can't even sit in a chair, mm -hmm. you know, for more than a few minutes without hurting. Okay, so I'll tell the doctor that your back is getting in the way of things that really matter to you in your life and that it's your number one priority today. Thank you. Let's take your vitals and finish up asking you the screening questions before the doctor comes in. Jason, hi, Dr. Liz Finch. Hey, Doc. I see it's your first time here. Welcome. Thank you. To get us started, Lynn mentioned that you've got a bad back problem that we need to put front and center. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, well, we'll take a hard look at that. Is there anything else you want to talk about or ask me today? I mean, nothing I can think of right now. Okay. Your chart also says that your blood pressure is a little high. Is that news to you? Not really. I mean, I don't know the exact numbers, but, you know, I know it's not perfect. Well, we won't worry about perfect right now, but tell me this. If we can take care of your back pain, you'd like to be more active. Is that right? Absolutely. When people experience pain, they can also experience stress, and stress can contribute to high blood pressure. Where would you rate your stress level on a scale of 1 to 5? 1 being low and 5 being high. 4. Okay. Once you're active like you want to be, the chances are that your stress and blood pressure are both going to come down. I mean, that's what I was thinking too. You know, I, I was always pretty healthy and, and not too stressed out until I hurt my back. You know, and I, I take pain meds, but I don't like them. They don't fix anything and they make me a little lazy. So let's see what we can do. We will work on getting your back better, which hopefully improves your blood pressure and stress. And we'll see how much of it we can get done while we scale back on the meds. Well, I mean, let's not scale them back too fast, you know. 
I mean, yeah, it sounds good, but the pain before I started with the meds, I mean, it was some of the worst pain I ever felt. So I, I don't want to just, you know. Well, we won't do anything that makes things worse. What we'd like to do is try to connect you with some additional resources that might help you with pain and stress management. And eventually, we could begin weaning you off the meds. And what do you mean, additional resources? Well, it looks like you're going into well-being orientation next week, and you'll find out about lots of opportunities here at the medical center. I saw on your chart that you're interested in Tai Chi, which can be great for flexibility and pain. And you've already spoken with your coach about mindfulness, which is another avenue for pain and stress management. Today, I can provide battlefield acupuncture, just five points in the ear that can help reduce pain, and it's been shown to be effective for back pain. And if you like, we can connect you with mental health as well. So we have a lot of options. That all sounds great. So we'll use these options to help you manage the pain and stress, get those under control, get you active, back down on the meds, then see if the blood pressure drops. Does that sound like a plan? That sounds like a great plan. And since this is your personal health plan, let's make sure you get a copy of today's updates after we finish your exam. I'll print them for you at the end of our appointment. Now, let's take a closer look at that back, okay? Thank you. Hello? Hey, Jason, I just wanted to check in. Is this a good time? Absolutely. Yeah? No, I'll just leave a Tai Chi class. Tai Chi, huh? Well, I was gonna ask how it's going, but that tells me it's going pretty well. It's going really great, Chris. I mean, this personal health plan thing, the whole health approach, it's, it's really paying off. It's all moving so fast, but that's part of what's so amazing. You know, I saw my provider. I mean, she understands I need to get this back pain under control so I can do the things that I love. I'm super into the well-being program. I did the orientation, you know. I've taken quite a few courses, Tai Chi courses, some skill building courses. You know, it's all going really well. I did that battlefield acupuncture. <laughs> it actually worked really well. <laughs> You know, I, yeah, so, I mean, things are going great. Oh, man, that is so great to hear. I couldn't be happier. I have one question, though, for you. Oh, yeah? Shoot. Do you think you could tell me how to volunteer or be a whole health partner? I, I'd like to give back a little bit. Yeah, you know what? I just may know a guy who can help you out with that. Uh, I can't wait to get started. Yeah, thanks, Chris. Yep.